up? What's up? What's up, my fellow creators? Welcome, guys. I hope you're having a beautifully blessed, phenomenal day. Thank you for joining me for a moment with Topics with Becky down the rabbit hole. Today we were talking about people-pleasing. People-pleasing. This hit me really crazy this week. Like, I was on a walk out in nature and, and it just hit me. Something that I had really done my whole life was be a people-pleaser. I was a people-pleaser, guys. Like, let's just get real. And then something happened. I've been working on becoming my own best friend. Working on, right? It's always a work on progress. There's no end result. I think that we always get closer with ourselves and we'll get more in love with ourselves and we become more in tune with ourselves as we go. And so while I was walking, I realized, I was like, you know what? Here I was looking for validation from you guys. You guys, I wanted, I wanted to do this for you guys, right? And of course, there's still something in me that does this because it's to give without receiving, right? Like, that's what it comes down to. But then I laughed because all of these videos that I make that I have to edit, I watch. I watch from start to finish is why editing takes a long time. And sometimes these videos might not get out for a couple of weeks until after they were recorded. I don't I don't know. I don't have a set schedule of like these videos are going to come out on this time. No, like it takes time for me to edit them. And that was something I had to learn to do for myself. OK, that's another topic. Anyways, I was people pleasing for so long that what ended up happening to me in my life? I started changing everything everything about myself everything the good the bad the ugly the beautiful I changed it all because there was always a person who didn't like who I was or what I was doing or what it was I had to say or just just had a problem with me and in my mind I was like what can I do differently so that this person would like me and saying it out loud just kind of makes me laugh because I'm like wow how much are you going to change about yourself so that people will like you? How much are you going to change about what you love to do just so somebody's not going to say something bad about you? And this is what happens with people pleasers. We end up changing everything about ourselves, right? Like that's just how it goes because we want everybody to like us. You want want to be liked by everybody because you don't understand. Like you're like, if I saw me from the outside, I would like me. So why shouldn't everybody else like me? Not everybody's going to like you. Because honestly, baby, let's get down to it. You're not everybody's cup of tea. Just like I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And I realized that's okay. I'm not for everybody and that's okay. Like you have to say this to yourself. So as I was walking, I realized how much I had changed about myself and how in changing all these things about myself, there was a point in time when I looked in the mirror and two things. I hated the person looking back at me. I hated her. And I don't want to sugarcoat it because I really did. I, I, I and hate's a strong word and I really did. I hated her. I couldn't stand looking at her anymore because I didn't recognize her, which is reason number two. I didn't recognize who I'd become. So what did people pleasing do? Nothing. Because at the end of the day, you're going to change all these things about yourself and then you're going to meet somebody who can never be pleased by everything you change. And let me tell you, they could hand you a list, point and center, and tell you one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to a hundred. These are the things that I like and these are the things that you need to change. And you can go and change every single one of those and be exactly as they said and they would still have a problem with you. So, on this journey, I have started over quite a few times. And the reason I started over is because I was harboring this people-pleasing energy. I was harboring it. I was like, oh, well, so-and-so didn't like me, so what do I need to change? And I would literally go off-grid and change everything and come back brand new. But 
it's interesting because when I would go off grid, it was like I didn't have anybody to please but myself. And so in going off a of grid, it was good for me because I learned how to be centered within my own energy. So, yes, I have started over quite a few times. I've been doing these videos for three years, three years, guys. And it was very consistent for a very long time. And then I changed and then it was consistent for a long time. And then I changed and it was consistent for a long time. And then I changed and now I'm back and I realize what I do is what I do. But in all those times that I took a break, what it made me realize is I really I went into solitude. And I became my sanctuary. And what I realized is that what people were saying they didn't like about me were things that I wasn't accepting about myself. I'm goofy. I have a funny laugh. It makes people laugh. And I love that. I love that about myself. I didn't used to. I used to hate that about myself. Uh, I talk about weird things. Right? I talk about things that people don't think about. I observe situations that people would rather just ignore and turn the other cheek. I, I see things that aren't there. <laughs> you know, like I think about 50 years ago, they probably would have sent me to an insane asylum because of the things that I talk about and the things that I mention, and then being able to pick up on the vibes of people. You know, I just, these are all things that I really had a disdain for in my life my whole life and thinking that I didn't have something valuable to say and on my walk I laughed and I was like you know what being my becoming my own best friend has taught me something of value if you had a friend that was doing everything that you were doing wouldn't you encourage that friend I mean you would be honest with them yes but you wouldn't be ruthless with them you would be honest with them, you know, like, hey, maybe that's not going to work out for you, but that's okay. Like, you know, these are the options that I have. But if that person didn't change, you wouldn't be like, oh, well, you should have listened to me. And I told you so. No, you'd still encourage them because that's what friends are for. And I realized that. And I realized the reason that I watch these videos, yes, it's to edit them. But in truth and honesty, the reason that I watch these videos is because that's what I would do as a best friend to somebody else. So why wouldn't I do that for myself? And what I've learned in watching my own videos, yes, this may make me seem self-centered, and that's okay because it's not. The messages that come out in my video have value to me. Whether they have value to anybody else or not, it doesn't matter. But it took me people pleasing on this journey to become myself to learn how not to people please and to really be the cheerleading system for myself they're going to be people who don't like you they're going to be people who say nasty things they're going to be people who have a problem because you're doing something they think that they can't and that's really what it comes down to is they think they can't or they haven't been inspired, or they have been inspired, but they don't feel worthy enough to take the journey. That's not a reflection on you. It just means that that person's not ready to change, and that's okay. That's okay. That's not for you to change, and that's what people-pleasing will get you into routine, is trying to change yourself, trying to change others, trying to change everything. Rather... Can you let go of being a people pleaser and come into a space of being centered with yourself and understanding that the only thing you have to do is to become? It sounds simple. The steps are simple. But I promise you, it's not easy. And I'm not ever going to promise you something of ease. And I'm not going to sit here and lie like so many people do on this journey saying, oh, I can get you healed and manifesting in a day. Honey, you didn't take a day to get to where you are in this now moment. It ain't going to take you a day, a week, a year to get out of it. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some dedication. It's going to take heart. And more importantly, it's going to take you letting go of needing validation from everybody else and beginning to validate yourself. Whatever that is. It's different for everybody. I'm not here to say that, all oh, the way I validate me is the way you need to validate yourself. No, because you're a different friend than I am. Right? So... 
Think about all the friends that you've had in your life and compile a list of all the things that you love that you did for them and then just start there. Start doing those things for yourself, not being rude to yourself, loving yourself, you know, showing up for yourself, whatever it is. I, I, again, you're a different friend than I am. I can't say what it is, but you know what it is. And you can start somewhere and see how that works out for you. So people pleasing in the end, when you take the spiritual journey for myself, people pleasing has taught me how to become the powerhouse within myself and to be courageous and strong. And if somebody doesn't like it, I'm not going to change the way I do things because this is the way that I'm comfortable doing things. And not only that, because half the time I'm not comfortable doing these things at all. In fact, I'm very frightened at times when I start this camera. This is me facing my fears, being bold, blazing past boundaries that I've made in my life. And this is me telling me that, yes, I can, when maybe there's a little small voice inside of me saying, no, you can't. Because all it is is a, it's, it's an irrational fear that once you face, you're like, wow, that wasn't that bad at all. You can do it. I know you can because I did. And if I did, I know you can. This is what I have for you. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And with that being said, go forth boldly, my fellow creators, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love until we meet each other again. Peace out. I love y'all. Bye.